Valentino Rossi, Fiat Yamaha team rider. Hi, Valentino. Hi, everybody. What have you been doing during the off-season? How much training and how much holidaying? Yes, if, uh, if the time is uh, 100, I think uh, split between 50-50, uh, between uh, holiday and, uh, and the training. Uh, the training during the winter is uh, different, different compared to, to the summer. Uh, but uh, it's better never stop to train, if not, uh, it's more uh, difficult to restart. How do you prepare for a new season? Is it more important to work on your fitness these days? Now it's very important the, the physical preparation for, uh, for MotoGP, uh, because you need to have uh, power, resistance for, uh, for the 45 minutes of the race. So I train at the gym like normal, but at the same time, I try to, to train also with the, with, the, with the bike, or motocross, or super motard. Uh, try to stay on the bike for... Uh, don't lose the, the feeling with the, with the throttle and with the brake. At the age of 31, nearly, do you think you are still improving as a racer, or do you think you have reached the peak of your talents? Yes, in, on 16 February, I uh, arrived at 31 years old. Um, but, uh, you know, um, if you think you are at the, at the top, uh, it's a big problem because uh, always you need to <clears throat> improve uh, your style, improve your speed and try to adapt yourself at the new bike, at the new tires, and the new, at the new regulation and try to be <clears throat> a little bit faster than the year before. Who do you think will be toughest to beat this season? Jorge, Casey or Danny? And why? It's very difficult uh, to understand uh, now who is the, will be the main rival on 2010. Because between uh, Jorge and uh, Stoner and Pedrosa, uh, all, all the three riders uh, um, demonstrate in the past that are able to win the championships, that are uh, fast in every condition, in every track and, and for all the season. So, we need to, to wait also about the, to understand the, the level of the bikes of 2010, but I think uh, all the three riders will be very difficult to beat. You have made no secret of the fact that you are not happy about the new engine rule restricting the amount of engines that can be used in a season. How would you change it if you could? I think it uh, will be a difficult uh, rule for, for everybody because uh, just uh, six engines for one season is not enough, it's very tight. If we have eight or ten, it's more uh, easy and uh, less risky. But this is uh, the rule. So all the manufacturers have to adapt at this rule. And also all the riders have to, be, to keep attention to, to the engine and uh, try to, to save the engine for arrive at the end of the season just with six. Last year you made more mistakes than we've grown accustomed to seeing you make. Do you think this was to do with the level your rivals pushed you to or what? Yeah, in 2009 I did uh, three mistakes uh, during the race, uh, that are a lot, but uh, two of the three uh, were because uh, I, I, I had the, the, the slick tires on the wet, so are uh, strange condition. Uh, after the mistakes in, uh, in, in Indianapolis, for sure is the, is the more uh, bad of the season, and uh, this time, in 2010, we try to, to make better and less mistakes. What developments have you personally asked to be made to the M1 for this season? We try to work uh, to improve the M1 in two, in two ways. Uh, the first one is uh, the chassis. We try to, to improve the stability of the M1 and create a better grip. And the second one is the engine, uh, because uh, uh, we need uh, a little bit more horsepower, but at the same time, uh, we need to, to work just with six engines for 18 races. So we need uh, uh, a little bit more horsepower, but at the same time, uh, longer life on the, for the engine. What's your opinion about Ben Spees? Do you think he can be a threat to the current Big Four, as many people say he will be? A, a lot of people are waiting for, uh, for Ben Spees, for understanding the level of, uh, of Ben that is the, the world champion of uh, Superbike and arrive in MotoGP, so it will be very interesting to understand. I think that Ben has a great potential, is a good rider, uh, fast and brave, uh, but I hope uh, 
will be a little bit more slow compared to me, Jorge, Stoner and Pedrosa because uh, in four we are already a lot. <laughs> what are your thoughts about the news of 1,000cc engines returning in two seasons' time? Is that an exciting prospect that makes you want to commit to MotoGP for even longer? Go back at 1,000cc will be interesting and uh, I'm quite happy because I like 1,000cc like in the past. Now we have to understand uh, the rules uh, of these uh, new, new bikes and new engine and uh, for understand if uh, uh, it's possible to uh, build an uh, engine uh, fast and uh, funny to ride like, uh, like in the past, like in 2006. But I'm quite happy to come back to 1,000cc. Following your recent Ferrari F1 test, people are asking once again if you will move to F1. What do you say about this and how do you expect Ferrari to do this year? I did uh, another test with the Ferrari Formula 1 in uh, Barcelona. It was great. I enjoy a lot. Quite good lap times. But I think it will be very difficult uh, to see me in Formula 1. What do you think about Schumacher returning to F1? Yeah, I think it will be quite interesting to understand the, the speed of Michael after three, three years' uh, stop. Is what Schumacher is doing something you could see yourself doing, that is, leaving MotoGP for a few years and then returning, or do you think that when you do decide to retire, it will be for good? It's a difficult question, I don't know. Mm, a lot of great uh, uh, sportsmen come back like Michael Jordan or uh, Lance Armstrong. So, I don't know. When do you expect to make a decision about your future? Yes, um, I think uh, more or less during the summer it's possible to uh, understand and decide uh, what's happened to me in 2011. Can you shed any light on what you're planning? Yeah, about my future. I don't know. I don't decide yet. Bye-bye to, to everybody from Valentino and uh, see you in the tracks from uh, April, I think.